everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back in LSPDFR and today we are patrolling as a Rockford Hills police officer. So this is a pack I made myself. Um, it is based off of Beaver Creek, Ohio police. There's the lights. They are red and blue. So uh, today we'll go and patrol in Rockford and see what we will get into. 227, Rockford. 227. Show me 1041. 10 Roger that. 227. Proceed to patrol area. Alrighty. Well, today we are patrolling out here in Rockford. I'm not expecting as high uh, priority calls just because of the area that we are in. So it may be a little less of a run and gun sort of episode but we'll see um but in this rockford hills police pack there is both this 2016 ford explorer or fpiu and there is the that car just spun their wheels Whoa, turn around on them but there's also the 2020 version of this um explorer okay I got them for uh, spinning their wheels at that last light, and they're kind of driving kind of suspicious, so we're going to go ahead and pull them over. 227, show me on a traffic stop. 10 4 proceed with caution. 227, requesting a plate check. 6 8 Echo Alpha Victor Niner Tree 4. Right. Got no major issues, so we're gonna go ahead and approach them ourselves. They're pulled off the road enough. Yep, we'll go ahead and talk to them, see what's going on. Alright, oh! 227, show me in pursuit. Got a Los Santos unit. Taking primary for us. Well, I said there wasn't gonna be as much run and gun, but, um. Here we go, right off the bat. So, 227 requesting an area unit. We're gonna go ahead and pursue. Oh, that was interesting driving. Los Santos Police, or er, Rockford Hills Police, pull over! Oh, they pitted. Rockford Hills Police, stop the car. The no. Dispatch show one on. Let's show the. the Dispatch show the Vic, the. Suspect, suspect ten fifteen. Couldn't think of what the word was. I left my siren on. Man, who leaves their siren on like that? Oh, and my backup's running away. That's good. Let's get a code 2 backup out here then. Alright, we'll see what's going on here with them. Alright, we'll go ahead and pat them down. This is a passenger. Man, why are you running? Why are you guys running today? Okay, he's got white powder, one ounce of it, and a prescription pill bottle. Alright, we're going to grab him and we're going to put him in the back of my car. Alright, go ahead and step back in the car for me. Sit in the back here. That's their car. I guess you're getting taken away by them. I guess that'll work. Search the vehicle real quick. Let's see, we got a shotgun with scratched. 
with a scratch serial number. We got a fake wooden rifle. And he's got a 3D printed MG. All right. And it's hidden, so that's concealing. Um, all right, there's our backup. Looks like it's another little Santos unit. I'll go ahead and pat down this guy. The driver, man, why are you running for me? There's real no reason for you to run like that. All I was getting you for was, uh, uh he's got a half a gram brown powder. Yep. I mean, all I was getting him for was revving his wheels, or spinning his wheels. Let's go ahead and have him breathalyze him. Now I'm going to turn off my siren, for heaven's sakes. Alright, what's this breathalyzer come back as? Nothing. Yeah, it didn't seem like, I didn't smell alcohol or anything on him. So it's not like... Not like I noticed any intoxication, but I just wanted to check. So, we've got, uh, let's see, got Mr. Andrea. He's going to be arrested for aggravated attempt to elude Elio. Um, we're going to get him. Oh, I haven't tested the narcotics yet. Getting ahead of myself. Alrighty, let's see. So we've got... For him, he's got the half a gram of bound powder. So I'm going to test that for heroin. Why are we hitting people? We're going to do this. And we've got heroin for that brown powder. We're going to stop the traffic so we don't get any more stupidity. So we've got heroin for that brown powder. And then... Let's see what else we got. Is there another traffic stop like down the road? <laughs> That's funny. Alrighty, so for this white powder, we'll see if it's cocaine. Nope. Check for meth. And it's meth. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. So let's see the pills. I'm gonna check for MDMA or ecstasy first. See what that gets us. Nope. Maybe some LSD. I would guess that was probably fentanyl. Let's see. Checking it. Cracking that seal. Nope. Not fentanyl. Is it uh, PCP? If not. It's not. It must just be Advil. Yeah. It's just Advil. Well, that's interesting. Alright, well, I'm not going to get him for the citation, because there's no real reason to. Um, so, let's see, Mr. Zelian is going to get arrested for aggravated attempt to elude. He's, and for reckless driving. We're also going to get him for... The half gram brown powder, which is heroin. That's right there. We're going to get him for the um, we've got a shotgun that's got a modified serial number. It's in the commission of a felony. We've got concealment without a CCP, concealment of a fake gun, and I think that's going to be it for him. Oop. So, for Mr. DeAndre, let's see, we've got him for possession of methamphetamines. He didn't resist, so we're going to keep him away from that, and then... The pills were nothing, so we've got him for the, oh, not hunting fishing, but the firearms. We've got him for concealment without a CCP, and we've got him for an undetectable and for a illegal possession of an automatic weapon. 
So, that's quite a bit of charges for them. So, we're going to go ahead and get them transported out of here. Get this tow truck in here, and we'll go back 10-8. Alright, so we are... 227, show me responding. We've got a Pursuit standoff. So, oh, gosh dang it. We just had it. They just had a Pursuit and right over here. And they are in a standoff or Code 5 sort of situation. Man, that's a lot of cops. We got Kettering, or, uh, uh, Vinewood. We got, there's the 2020 version of this car. Rockford Hills Police, come out with your hands up. Where now, asshole? Hey, uh... surren they surrender. Let me see your hands. All right, take a step back. Stop there. Get on the ground now. On your knees. Right, looks like we got him. And then we're not going to do paperwork because we don't know why they're being pursued. Requesting transport. Yeah, that'll be that. Apparently. Requesting transport. Apparently I have to... Uh, do all the cleanup. I'm not really a rookie, but sounds like a plan, I guess. Hey, <laughs> hey. All right. Well, we'll get them taken out of here, or not, because they don't exist. All right. Interesting. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get back to Nate, regardless. What is this guy? Oh, okay. All right. We're gonna have a talk with this guy. Let's see what's going on with him. He just pulled a Yui. Or they just pulled a Yui. 227 requesting a plate check. 65 Alpha X ray Echo 237. Suspect license plate 65 Adam X ray Edward 237. Show me on a traffic stop with that vehicle. Copy. Two twenty-seven. Copy. Show, show me on Abe Milk and Cross and Milton. Blue and color mammoth. Occupied one time. No additional needed. All right. Let's go talk to him. Just see what's going on. Why he did that U-turn? Boop. Hello there. How you doing today? Tired. Oh, I'm. I'm doing all right. Why do you think I pulled you over today? You ran the light? Not quite. Um, so I'm getting you for that U-turn. Um, yeah, no, I really didn't have an issue with the U-turn. It was more the issue with reversing after turning around. So could I just get your license, your registration, your proof of insurance, please, on the vehicle? Let's see what we got here. All right. All right, Mr. Max, hold on just for a second for me. I'm going to run some stuff, make sure you're not wanted or anything, and then we'll be back. I'm probably just going to give you a warning here. Um, yeah. Unless you come back as, like, being pulled over 20 million times, I'll probably just be giving you a warning today. All right? All right. Hang tight for me. All right. Let's see what his driving history looks like here. Go ahead and pull this up. Mr. Max Norris, he's been pulled over once. So we're just going to go ahead and give him a written warning um, for reversing on a public roadway. So that's it. Nothing on their insurance, nothing like that. So cutting him a little break here. Wasn't a huge deal. All right, Mr. Morris. So today, what I got here for you is not a ticket. It is just a warning. So it's just a written warning telling you not to reverse on roadways again, okay? All right, if you could just sign here saying you received the warning, and then uh, that would be it. So I appreciate you. Drive safe today. Have a nice day. Go get some rest.
All right, that's a pretty simple stop. Just had, just had to pull a UE and couldn't quite make it because this beat vehicle so big. So yep. After that, we'll go ahead. We'll turn around. And go back 10-8. We've got citizens reporting an attempted arson attack in Vinewood Hills. All right. Let Vinewood PD take over that. I'm gonna run the plate of this taxi here. Two two seven. Can I get a plate check? Zero two. Golf Juliet Bravo two seven niner. Let's see. Oh, they got no insurance anyway. So they just cut me off. So that's the bigger thing. But we'll go ahead and pull them over, have a chat. It looks like they don't have insurance either, so we'll see what's going on there. 227, show me on a traffic stop with that vehicle. At uh, Del Piro, cross a patrol. Proceed with caution. 227, you want to roll me an additional? This way, just code 2. Assistance required in right, We're going to approach from the passenger side here, see what's going on with them. We copy you. On standby. Got another Rockford unit here. Hello there. How are we doing today? I'm doing all right. Why do you think I pulled you over today? You'd rather me tell you? All right. So, got you for a couple things here. You failed to yield it right away. First off, you cut me off. No, $100 would not uh, make me forget. The other thing is, this is coming back as an uninsured vehicle. Just can't afford it. I understand that. Um, I would think the company would uh, pay for insurance, but you got your license, your registration, for me, I know you don't have your proof of insurance, so I'll just take those two from you. Alrighty, sounds good, Mr. Owen Sauce. Owen Sauce? Owen Sauce. Okay. Robert, I will. I'm gonna head back to my vehicle here, do some checks, and then I'll let this officer stand here with you and uh, have a conversation with you, alright? Alright, just sit tight for me and I'll be right back. Alright, let's see what's going on here. We'll check the cab first, and then we'll check the um, driver, see what's going on with them. Alright, let's see what's going on. So, for the taxi, he's got no insurance. It's not even expired. It's not stolen, though, and it's registered. Alright, so we got Mr. Owen Sauce. Let's see, he's been stopped twice, no sights, no arrests. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to cite him for failure to insure vehicle. And I'm going to just warn him about his yielding. Um, just to kind of catch him a little break. I mean, he is a taxi. So let's see, we're going to get him for failure to insure. And that also means that we are going to be towing the taxi today. So I'm glad I called for that extra unit. We're going to be having him step out. And we'll be calling a tow truck out this way. So, all right, Robert, could I have you go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me? Come back here to the hood of my car. Hold up. We'll have a little talk here. Alright, Robert. So the big thing here is you do not have insurance. Alright. So, I can't let you drive away today. So here's your ticket today. Alrighty. I forgot you for the no insurance is what I've cited you for. And then on the bottom there's also a warning for um, failure to yield, okay? So I'm going to have you sit tight here. Um, or you, we can call you Uber or Taxi. All right, you want a taxi? All right. So we're going to request a taxi out here for you, and we'll have them drive you down to the cab company, all right? All right. Sounds good. Sorry about your this inconvenience, but I, that's what I got to do. 227 requesting a tow truck. All right, Robert. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Requesting a tow truck. 
All right. Oh, why are you running? Oh, <laughs> taxi's here. All right. Well, that was pretty simple. Call the tow truck out here for that. Get it towed down to the yard, and then we'll go back to Nate. Oh, we got a. All right. We've got a. Show me responding. We've got an officer shot over here. We've got a fire truck behind us. Shots fired! Shots fired! That's not supposed to happen. There's still some. There's shots fired. Where are the shots coming from, guys? I hear shots. What? What are the shots? Oh. Suspect down. Officer down. A firm. Cancel that pursuit. I need to look into what's causing that. We have a. I keep having a random fire truck show up and causing a pursuit. I'm gonna go ahead and call on an additional fire fighter medic team out here. All right, let's see what's going on here. We got one officer down here. Let's see. Where's where's our medical? Why's our medical not tending to this guy? Guys, come on. Let's get let's get going on the officer. I I don't care about the guy shooting at him. There we go. Now we got some professionals here. All right, we're gonna doubly work on him. We're both gonna perform CPR through each other. Uh, CPR failed with me. Let's see if he can do any better. Let's see. Oh, unfortunately, no. 227 requesting coroner. Well, that's unfortunate. That is also unfortunate. Not sure what caused that. But, yeah, I'm not sure what this was from, but we'll go ahead. We'll call. Um, we'll call for a tow truck for them. And we got coroner here to help clean up the scene, so we'll go back to Nate. We apparently have a bank robbery attempt out this way. I'm not sure what what's what's going on here. All I know is we've got a bank robbery attempt, so we're going to be heading out. Ooh, that was a poor decision, Todd. Ah, very poor decision. Heading out this way to... Uh, Bank robbery attempt. I don't know if this is a robbery in progress or if this is someone just attempting to get stuff together for a robbery. So we're going to be on scene here in a second. Turn off our siren. Oh, okay. Says we've got a armed and dangerous suspect. 227 in the area. See what we got. Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Alright, looks like we got. Oh, it's a very heavily armed gunman over here at the Fleeca. Two to seven, shots fired. We've got a heavily armed gunman. Shots are being exchanged. I'm not sure why these people aren't moving out of the way. 
Luckily for me, it looks like the, that his bullets are hitting that metal box right in front of me. Instead of hitting me. That's an opportune place to park. Oh man, we're hitting people. Guys, guys, we gotta be hitting the suspect, not the civilians beside the suspect. Oh, I'm out of rifle ammo. Looks like it's handgun ammo. I can barely see his head right above this box. Man, this has turned into a war zone here. We're going to stop all traffic here. I really don't want to have to, but if, if I run out of this, I'm going to have to go to my driver's seat and get my shotgun. Which concerns me because there's so many civilians around. Rockford Hills, drop your weapon! Rockford Hills Police! Police officer, drop your weapon! Alright, I'm out. I guess I'm gonna have to grab the shotgun. Okay, I got the shotgun. Oh, no, I'm putting back the rifle. Grabbing the shotgun here. Let's see, we're gonna clear the... Clear it, guys! Let's go! Suspect down. Suspect down. Bam, get out of here. We've got a suspect down. Okay, not grab his weapon. A firm. Oh, that must just be a prop. Got EMS coming for him. And the civilians. Did we get any officers down? We got officers down. Officers down. And we'll get a fire truck out here truck with them and a medic. Man, I can't believe these people just stood around while this happened. Man, this is not good. We got at least two officers here down. Looks like just two. I mean, not just, but I mean only two. But that's better than several officers down and the maps disappearing that's good oh that's a welcome surprise I didn't think I'd see them come out here but this is the San Andreas University police uh, vehicle right here it's also available on lspdfr.com it is uh, based off of Wright State University I which is that, I think it's technically in Fairborn but it's right over by Beaver Creek um, in Ohio, so that's that's why it is in, uh, in Richmond at ULSA. So yeah, that's another cool pack. But yeah, uh, looks like they're gonna be tending to him. Oh, we got the officer didn't make it. A civilian made it. Was that the bad guy? I think that was the bad guy made it. Really? Oh. And we're going to run over the officer for good measure. That's awesome. Thanks for that. And we got a cop dead and a civilian dead. So, well, we're going to let someone else clean that up. And while we do that, we're going to go ahead and look at our court cases for today. So we had Andrea was the first today. So we've got him for reckless driving, uh, attempt to elude, possession of heroin, Possession of a firearm in a felony with a modified serial number and concealing it without a CCP and concealing a fake firearm. He got a total of 19 years in prison, $4,500 in fines, and everything he was charged with, he got um, convicted of. So, next is passenger, we got DeAndre Williams. He was uh, under arrest for meth, a weapon, uh, that was 3D printed and concealing without a CCP. He got only eight years in prison and 2.3 thousand in fines. And then 
Mr. Robert uh, for failure to insure and failure to yield right away. He was fined $472 for failing to insure. But that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it today. If you did, leave a like down below, comment down below with any suggestions you have for the channel, and subscribe for more content like this. And I think GTA just crashed some. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.